Hi, so this is just a um, quick a little lesson on for students how to find out what your marks are and um, maybe where you are in the course if you haven't been in it for a while sometimes you forget what lesson you've last done and for parents of course again you know is your child um, progressing in the course how often are they working that, that sort of thing so of course the first thing you want to do is just log in so we'll just log in here uh, put in your username and your password whatever that happens to be and then just click the login button Okay, then uh, once you're logged in, you'll see a home screen. Oh, there could be different things here. We're in spring break while I'm doing this, so there's a little message here, but quite often the courses will be at the top, so the students' courses will be listed here. And I might as well just pick one. We'll go into this one here, I guess, M12. The course outline is here, you can, you, as you can see. Um, to get a really quick idea of what your grades are in the course, and this isn't most detailed report but we'll have a grades here and there it is so we can see that the grades are listed here what they're out of it's in the second column here the range um, you can see where you are in the course the course total uh, this student is 74 percent in the course I guess and you round it up so that would be a B and then we can go back to either the home screen here and look at the courses again or just um, use these what we call breadcrumbs here and go back to the course that we're in. And um, now the, this settings where the courses are and the navigation we call these blocks, they could be on the left or they could be on the right. Um, you may have a calendar here, you may not. It just depends on the course and the teacher what they've set up. There should always be a settings with a grade, though, somewhere either on the left or the right. And in the navigation pane, this is quite hidden, so um, students will quite often miss this, but it's a really useful report. Um, you'll see your courses listed along here. And um, in the courses, there's a participants link here. So if we just open that up by clicking on it, you'll see your student's name, or your child's name, or, or your name, whatever, whatever the case may be, uh, the summit student in this case. If we click on the, the student's name, uh, there's a, a bunch of things here that uh, one of them is activity reports at the very bottom. So if we open up the activity reports, we'll see there's um, two reports here that you can access. One is the outline report, which is very useful. And what it does is it gives you the outline of the course, but it tells you um, what you've accessed and when the last access is. So we can see this student here, for instance, has accessed up to uh, Topic 4, Unit 4, and the last time they've looked at it is March 18th, uh, what lessons they've, they've accessed. You can also see the grades they've got on things. This is a really useful report because it really tells you, you know, if a, if a student, for instance, tells a teacher that, oh, I've been working really hard and I've been working every day, and then you go in there and you see that they've last accessed the course two weeks ago, well, you know that, mm, maybe not. So it's a, it's a useful report. And then for students, of course, it's useful because uh, sometimes you, you know, you get busy with other courses, you haven't looked at this one for a while, and you think, gee, where have I been last and so you can go through here very quickly and just see oh yeah I've looked at these lessons here the last time so um, again um, that's the course click on the participants and it opens up and you can see the outline report here so that's a really useful report um, to see exactly what students are doing and, or where you are in a course and that's it thanks hope that was useful